So how do you design a good product? Well, there's a lot of factors to it, so let's talk about it a little, little bit today. So a good product is very, very subjective because it depends on who your target audience is, who you are, how well you, uh, what kind of product it is, what industry you're working in, as well as your own limitations of budget and materials or manufacturing processes. So a, a good product is something that generally solves a problem or fulfills some basic need of the person. So for example, Netflix doesn't solve any problem at all unless you consider boredom a problem. And that's really not in a lot of ways, but entertainment and those kind of things fulfill a need uh, by people to be entertained. So games, toys, entertainment, things that make add some spice to life are very often good products. And the way to tell if you have a good product is really just by testing it in that case. If you have some product that's meant to be entertaining, you have to test it. You have to get it out there and give it to a kid or give it to your target group or have somebody sit in front of the computer and see if they like your streaming service um, before you try to make the whole thing or make it perfect. This is where a minimum viable product is very important. Find the minimum thing that fulfills what your expectations are of the product, but is as cheap and basic as possible. This is the cardboard prototype, the 3D printed prototype, the basic thing that just gets the idea across especially for those projects like entertainment that have to be very large very often in order to be successful and, and launch correctly. Now, if you're doing with a practical product, a problem solving product, well, that's pretty much, you know what the problem is, so you can solve it. Well, I can't reach that spot in the middle of my back, so I made a back scratcher with an extra six inches. Nobody in the market is doing it. That may be a good product and you are the user. So it's very easy to know if it's a good product because you are the customer. The question then becomes, is this product something other people want? So you have to actually present it. And this is where uh, systems like crowdfunding or literally just making a website are very useful for finding out if people care about your product, a pre-ordering campaign, something along those lines. Those are ways of testing to see if you have a good product. So, it, it really varies again, depending on what it is and what the best solution is. So you have to be the expert in your field to know the best way of testing it. But a good product is something that fulfills the need of the individual. If it is an entertainment need, you really need to test it because tastes vary and you may not be the ideal target customer. But if it is something that solves a problem, then you need to get it into people's hands as early as possible too, or at least present it to people as early as possible so that they can uh, buy it from you. And so often we have the technology anymore with production 3D printing or rapid injection molding or any other types of manufacturing that allow you to get a number of pre-orders and then very quickly get the product into people's hands. But ultimately, Knowing if you have a good product is to just get it in people's hands. There is a very common mentality to try to hide the thing that you have until it's ready, to hold on to it and to protect it because somebody might steal it or somebody might not like it or whatever it may be because it's not perfect yet. But you have got to get it out into the world and you have got to let it wither and die or let people tell you how awesome it is so that they can, you are motivated to actually create it. Here's the thing. No one cares about your idea. A company will only rip you off once they've seen that you've had a $10 million Kickstarter campaign. When you are an inventor in the garage and you have a thing that is completely new and nobody else is working on it, no one else cares. So you have to prove that it's worth stealing before anybody tries to steal it. So don't be scared of putting the idea out there in the world because it allows you to find out if it's actually good. Hopefully that helps a little bit in how to determine if you have a good product and kind of tell what a good product is. There's no rules of what a good product is. You have to throw it out into the world and see if it sticks. Have a great day, everybody.